summer for real i would say like that's what it should be nice and warm out and <laughs> i'm actually excited to go see this movie Prez. like i was saying on my live feed not too long ago i didn't go see the uh the straight out of compton movie at the movies i i think the first time i watched it was on, actually on a bootleg i don't give a fuck if y'all mad at me about it and then i ended up seeing it on dvd too but i'm probably gonna actually go to the movies to see the pop movie because i'm 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 that kind of fan of pop i still think since he became my favorite rapper, there ain't been nobody that's that I fuck tough as I fuck with Pac. Besides, like, maybe almost K. Reno now, though. You know what I'm saying? He, he real close. Because K, that, yeah. he that deal, man. Yeah. Like, yeah like, if you, man. if you need to hear some music that you know you could be, like, you, you, ever, you ever be in a mood where you just got to hear something? You got to hear something. You, you can't go wrong if you put some Pac in. You can't go wrong if you put some K. Reno in. You can't, you know, they, that's what makes great, artist to me, man, in all-time greats, to me. I don't give a fuck about what nobody else top five is and all that shit. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. My tops. Yeah. You one of them. Yeah, you... you, you I mean, you, you he is the one. 
K Reno, you yeah. know, someone dropping seven albums on one day going unnoticed is just crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, Everybody, just... first and foremost, I'm going to put this challenge out right now. I'm going to put this challenge out to everybody listening. You know what I'm saying? If you fuck with the media, if you do a, a magazine, you do a, a internet website, or you have a podcast or a live show like we got, I challenge every one of you motherfuckers, every fucking one of you, to talk about K. Reno dropping seven albums on one day. If you don't, you ain't representing hip hop. That's history for the fucking genre and for music in general. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. In general, and to the ones that already have done it, man, my hat goes off to you. Someone who's rep the underground and, and, and rep people uh, trying to make it in this game for, for a few decades, my hat goes off yes, to you. Uh, I appreciate you for doing that. You know what I'm saying? But hell yeah. motherfuckers that's sleeping on K Reno, man, eat a fucking dick. Real talk, you're a fucking dick. You know what I'm saying? So you motherfuckers can, and so you motherfuckers can respect what this dude Hell is yeah, doing. Hell yeah, Get them, prayers. Go fuck Get yourselves. Em. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. So the ones who want to do it and haven't done it yet, you know what I'm saying? My hat goes off to you, too, because at least you want to interview the man and speak about this shit. But to the ones that haven't done exactly. it or that don't plan on doing it, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to tell you right now, Ambrosia, I sent a press release out to Ambrosia. And this is why the homie Carino says, man, don't even fuck with those in the mainstream. They ain't even fuck with me anyway. You know, they, uh, uh, we're about the underground. And I, I agree with them. Right. I sent a press release to these motherfuckers. And you know what they said? They said, oh, no, we wouldn't be interested in that. Why the fuck yeah. wouldn't you? But if we, name one of the Yeah, because it, no, it ain't no... Seven it, it's out. because... It, you know why, prayers? It's because it ain't no fuck day. shit. Like if it if yeah. it's some fuck shit, then they you know they really yeah we will get this we you know and I'm not saying Shan and all them some fuck shit, but what I'm saying is like shit that they think that'd get a motherfucker really you know if 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 he had seven albums full of mumble rap, he'd be the greatest of all time in their eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like if if it was all some swagged shit, like nobody's ever dropped seven mumble rap albums in one day. But no, because he's speaking that real shit. They don't want to give you seven times the dosage of real shit. They don't want to do that, yeah. man. That's why. That's why we got to keep doing what we do. Somebody hearing it, shit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Definitely. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, we got to we, we got to keep you know focusing on that that uh, type of stuff because it doesn't happen. Yeah. It's never happened before. And, you know, these underground guys mm-hmm. that's dropping music, it's a dope. We got to showcase them, too. Like, we, but, but Hell you know, yeah. we ain't got it. We been. We fucking been. And what yeah, we've fuck been y'all doing this shit. About? I see motherfuckers with just subliminals. I see all that bullshit on Facebook <laughs> and the motherfucking shit. I know what the fuck motherfuckers yeah. are saying. <laughs> what the fuck you think we've been doing? Some of the ones that we've right. actually helped are talking shit. But, no. Nah, no, you know, you know what I'm saying? They're not going to come out and, and say, fuck the Murder Master Music Show. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to no. say our names. They just want to do that subliminal no. shit. It's the ones that do t- say our names. They're the ones that got butt hurt and fucking went crawling under a rock. Y'all motherfuckers can't yeah, yeah, other than that. And maggots. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because all we do, we, we, like like you said, prayers, you said this shit hella years ago, man. Rest in peace to the homie Matt. You know what I'm saying? Our little bro, man. Like, he embodied that shit, so... Like it all go, it all go back to that. Like these motherfuckers, they they only really a lot of a lot of motherfuckers only really fuck with you. They think you gonna fuck with them. Sometimes it ain't even if you fucking with them. Yeah, it's if they think they, 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 they you gonna. They ride in bitches, dude. That's why I'm glad you yeah. brought up, man. And it's four years to the day that he passed. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to our little brother. If he was here, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have to call him none. He motherfucker. Now, this dude would be on your page. Say, what the fuck you doing? Yeah. Why the fuck you acting Matt was like a, a crazy bitch? motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why are you acting like a bitch? Go look through his timeline. Go go on Matthew Moeller's page. Go look through his fucking timeline and see how real that dude is. Yeah, was. he used to go in. You know what yeah, I'm saying? He was a real see, motherfucker. You see you motherfuckers try to emulate others and try to copy this and copy that, he'd be on your ass. You know what I'm saying? I ain't doing it because I'm too busy right now with people like Matt, Brandon, Sin, um, uh, the homie yeah. uh, Exit Only. You know what I'm saying? The whole and the motherfuckers we're going to be interviewing We're trying to and fucking shit, showcase you know like, underground talent, so I ain't worried about that that gossip and all that bullshit, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, that's going on. Either you fuck with us or you don't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In and out motherfuckers, jump back in the closet with that bullshit. I was playing motherfucking yeah, outlaws yeah. track, man. 
know what I'm saying? This is off the new album, Living Legends. This is When You Go. This is a, this is a real dope track, the concept of it. Fuck <laughs> Ubi Wama. Friends, going in on these bitches tonight. I feel you, Fred. I feel yeah, you. Man. Go in on these motherfuckers, motherfuckers, man. You got to let them know. You got to let them know sometimes. And it's the Murder Master Music Show, so we basically do what the fuck we want to do until Ooh, the guests arrive anyway. Really you know what I'm shit. saying? You know what I'm saying? Besides shit. Nobody but us. This is our... Yeah, you there? Yeah, I'm here. What's poppin'? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let everybody know who this is, man. Surprise the audience. Who is this? What's going on? It's 80 from the Outlaws, man. Well, well, welcome back to the Murder Master Music Show, man. We, we're honored to have you back on. How you been doing? Hell yeah. Man, everything is positive. I can't complain, man. Thanks, thanks for having me. Oh yeah, most definitely. And you sent me, uh, you sent me a, 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 a real good solo. Love will do. We're gonna play that after a little bit. Um, man, uh, what, what's the uh, love will do off of? Say what? The love will do. That's on your solo album. What's the name of your solo album? Oh, the name of my solo my album is the Hope Dealer. I put that out last December. Basically, uh, last last quarter last year, I dropped three yeah, videos. Yeah. I'm about to drop the fourth video next month on Valentine's Day. Oh, okay. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And then meanwhile, you uh, you guys got the uh, the new album Living Legends out right now. Um, you guys dropped that at the end of last year as well. Uh, Black Market Records. What's it like to hook up with Black Market Records? I mean, me personally, I really don't know. I don't know him like that. You know what I'm saying? That was the business we did. And it's really not an album. It's more like a mixtape. Oh, it's more like a mixtape? Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You guys got plans for do- doing an uh, Outlaws album this year, maybe? Or? Definitely. Be out this summer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, man. Um, man, you know, we, we're losing people left and right. Uh, rest in peace to uh, Crazy Tunes. Um, also, rest in peace to homie Big Psych. Um, man, you, you care to reflect a little bit on Big Psych, man? He was such a huge, uh, huge legend in the game. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's always unfortunate when you lose people, but it's also part of life. It's a part of the cycle. Ain't nobody getting up there, you know. Ain't nobody mm-hmm. getting up out of this shit alive, so <clears throat> it is what it is. But, you know, Big Psych was a major part of the Thug Life group. You know what I'm saying? Major part of that whole movement. And um, he got some classic work, classic verses in with Pac. And more importantly, you know, um, he was a solid guy, man. And you could tell that by the amount of people that showed up to his funeral. Oh. Right. Right. Rest in peace and sight. Yeah, we we were honored to have him on the show as well. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, huge, huge legend. You know what I'm saying? He was on that All Eyes on Me album on the title track. You know what I'm saying? Um, but then speaking of All Eyes on Me, you know what I'm saying? You guys got that movie you're dropping on on Pac's birthday, man. That's dope. That's real dope, man. What's it like working on the All Eyes on Me project? How's it coming along? I mean, it's done already. It was cool working on it, man. It was it was definitely a dope experience being a part of a a major motion picture. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Yeah, originally, um, weren't you guys gonna drop it this year? And you, you wanted to push it back, or what, what happened with that? Nah, that was some internet bullshit that started up. It never was a release date for the movie. People just jumped on it because it's so highly anticipated. They just started coming right. out with shit on their own, but there never was a release date for that movie. Yeah. Right. I, I was just about to say that highly, highly anticipated uh, is the worst because, like, like I, I was saying earlier, it ain't been a movie that I just really wanted to go to the movies to see. E- even the straight out of Compton movie, like a lot of motherfuckers want to see that movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see the math they did on it. You know what I'm saying? But this Pac, like, I can't wait till this motherfucker drop out, man. And then the dude, how eerie is he looking at Because to me, the dude that's playing him look just like him, for real, on, on certain levels, as far as how they, they got the trailers and all that out. 
Is this a real watching that play out? Um, you know, definitely. You know what I'm saying? He did a good job. Shout out to Demetrius Ship and everybody, the whole mm-hmm. team over there that worked on the movie. Benny Boom, LT Hutton, and the whole staff, cast, and crew. Everybody did their thing, man, and, and including the guy that's playing playing Pac, man. I, I ain't got nothing but good things to say about what he did in his portrayal. Right, right. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, yeah that's good, man. We definitely, uh, definitely want to hear it, uh, check it out and see it because, uh, you know, it, it, it's something that 20 years in the making, you know, um, but really, in all honesty, we all wish he didn't even have to make this movie. You know, we wish Pac was still here. Exactly. With the albums, you know. I mean, I can't even imagine the discography uh, of music he would have had over the last 20 years. You know, uh, just amazing. Uh, but what about you, uh, EDI, as a solo artist, you know what I'm saying? Um, you, you said you, you dropped the album in December. Uh, you do you get ready to do any touring or, or you're on the road right now? What's going on? I mean, we've been touring the better part of all of last year. You know, we'll definitely be doing some touring this year. Stay tuned for the details. We'll let y'all know we're planning something real special for this year. And, um, you know, my solo album is what it is. I got Sebo on there. I got Nutso. I got Crazy Bone, Freddie Gibbs, Corrupt, you know what I'm saying, Gangsta Boo. Mitchie Slick, the list goes on and on. It's definitely a classic album. A lot of my fans, a lot of the Outlaw fans really appreciate it. And I'm going to get started on uh, part two later this year. Oh, shit, part two. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. (laughs) Right, sticking to the script. You know what I'm saying? That's what we be telling these motherfuckers, man. It's alternative. You ain't got to look at the... You got to dig for the real shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers still out here putting this shit down, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to always salute that shit. I'm glad y'all didn't just bow down and just stop making, like, e- e- even if it ain't on the mainstream level, you can still get the music, man. You know what I'm saying? You go out here and get it. Yep. Yeah, hell yeah. And that's what's hell so yeah. dope about this shit. It's almost like rediscovering this shit sometimes. Like, some cats was like, yeah, oh, man, yeah. Outlaws, man, I still, because we listen to the songs that y'all made 15, 20 years ago, like, they brand new. You see what I'm saying? Like it's it. No I doubt. hear your voice damn near every day, and I don't know how how that re, uh, resonates to to your mind. But people listen to music all the time. Like you just gotta think about it. Like how many people really hear your voice every day through the shit you and Pacman was doing, from the drama side of shit to all the way up. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit cold, man. You know what I'm saying? Some cold shit. Appreciate that, consistency. man. Consistency too. Like we were talking about Yuck Mouth. Mm-hmm. You know, been doing this. The nineties, same with y'all. Been doing it, you know what I'm saying? Um, for a real long time and you're still making good quality music. And we try to tell people, man, that you can't just still out here doing it. And they need to uh they need to go check for the MCH, the Spice Ones, the Outlaws, you know what I'm saying? And go get that real music. Because it's still out there. Yeah, it's still here. Got damn right. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Yeah, me, man. I wanted to jump in real quick, ask you a question, man. Uh, one of my favorite things about the Outlaws, man, was always your willingness to work with other artists, like your solo album with 8-Ball. And a uh, personal favorite of mine is all the work that the Outlaws have done with Dead Prez. Do you guys still keep in touch with them? And is there anything uh, as far as working with them again? In the future, yeah, I just I just seen that Prez a couple months ago when I was in when I was in Portland. We had a show together. We don't got nothing planned right now, but them was our comrades and, and, and brothers in, at arms, and you know, um, they always support what we do and vice versa. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely hoping y'all link up again. Man. That, was the, that was a classic, man. I can't tell dope forever. Man. That, was, that was a classic album. I still bump that like it just came out yesterday. Salute. Yeah. yeah, definitely, definitely, man. What's uh, you know, I, I, um, I chopped it up with Young Noble. Uh, what's he up to, man? Is he uh, he he got any solos or anything that he's working on? Or? Man, he's constantly working, man. You gotta get him. You gotta get him on the phone to find out anything he got going on, man. But he uh, you know, always working. Yeah. 
Yeah, hell yeah, man. That dude just stays busy. Um, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. We got a caller here, uh, South Carolina, 803. It's only Tony. What's up, Tony? L-O-C. How you doing? What up, Scott? What up, Brandon? What up, Mac J? Yo, what up, man? What's up, you with L-O-C? Chilling, yeah, sorry, chilling. I didn't know who you was, bro. No doubt, no doubt. It's all good. It's all gravy, baby. Hey, but check this out. Yeah, I really want to know, man. How did you guys hook up with Young Buck with the Cashville Six One Five thing? You, you hooked the thing up with uh, you, you guys had Sibo with you and everything. You know what I'm saying? The uh, cause that 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 Six One Five was supposed to be G Unit South, and then it flipped to uh, Cashville Six One Five. And you guys was rolling with Buck. I mean, it was it was so, like, I didn't expect no shit like that. That shit came left field in the motherfucker. Yeah. Man, I was just, you know, us getting together and doing some music and, 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 and knocking out some shows and, you know what I'm saying, uh, um, developing a, a camaraderie that transferred over to the music. So it it was basically you guys was just chilling and doing shows and getting a little bread, or was it an actual deal? Was you guys, you know, wearing the nah? It wasn't no deal. It was just us doing chain. music. It was just us doing music and doing shows. Okay, so it, it wasn't a deal. It was just y'all like homeboys doing y'all thing. Right. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Cool. Cause I, I had the I had the idea the way everything was put out. Like when I when I read the magazines and. You know what I'm saying? And saw stuff on the internet. I had the implica- the implication that you guys was Cashville Six One Five, the Outlaws and Sebo. Nah. Okay. Cool. 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 That's what's up. That's what's up. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I remember, I remember that shit too. There was some nice music that came out of that shit too. You know what I'm saying? I know, right? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like I've been telling these motherfuckers, man, it's constant good music still out here, man. You know what I'm saying? At all fucking times. Yeah, yeah you guys just gotta look for it. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's uh I'll tell you what, let's take a break again. Let's give them this solo joint, man, that you sent me. You know what I'm saying? Uh love will do. Tell everybody about this one again. Man, it's a record off my solo album. It's just me by myself. Produced by my homeboy Snaz from Toronto. He definitely got hit. He reached out to him. And um, I shot a video for it. Directed by the uh, the super talented Jay Synth. Make sure you check it out. I'm dropping this on February 14th. Valentine's Day, man. It's for the lovers in the Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Soul yes, track. Love will do. You know what I'm saying? Man, fuck with it. I appreciate y'all playing that right there, man. Good looking out. That's serious bars right there, man. But then again, we ain't gonna expect nothing but that from you. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, no doubt, man. We're gonna play it again too, you know, in the future. Thank Uh, you. Yeah, keep us on your list. You know what I'm saying? Mail us whatever. Real talk. Uh, For sure. When I get started on part two, I'll send y'all the records, man. Mm Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about, man. Most definitely, most definitely. And then, uh, you know, hell yeah, but to, uh, what up? What, hold on, let me ask him some prayers right quick while I'm thinking about it, because I, I'll be even forgot about this shit. I've been smoking this shit, but anyway, uh, you know they finna drop this movie, man. Did they 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 had y'all on the set and, and uh, are they portraying y'all in the movie? Because you know, like when when uh, Straight Outta Compton movie came out, people was always wondering. If uh, the movie was gonna be portrayed right, if if they gonna show this person right, this person right, and, you know all that type. Of, I ain't heard none of that type of shit when it when it comes to the Pac movie coming out. I ain't really heard nobody opposing to how they portraying Pac. Do you think it's uh it's gonna be like you know what I'm saying? Like your estimation, you you coming up with Pac and they finna depict him to some people that probably wasn't even alive when he was doing what he was doing. Yeah, man, you know, I really can't talk too much about the movie right now, man. Y'all just going to oh, okay. have to go see the joint with the drop. We got to go see it. <laughs> we got to go see it. Oh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm, right, I'm about to say, yeah. I'm sure we're going to see that motherfucker, though. 
That's yeah. real shit. I met that motherfucker. Well, yeah, all I got to say, man, if you, if you fuck with Pac, go see the movie, man. Period. It ain't about us. It ain't about the outlaws. It ain't about, you know, nobody that's doing the movie, nobody in the movie. It's mm-hmm. about Pac, man. If you rock with Pac, go see that shit. Hell yeah. I feel that. I feel that for real. I'm, I'm going to be promoting yeah, that man. shit for it like that. Didi, I was wondering what, what your opinion on the, uh, the the Greg Kading documentary was. I don't have no opinion on that, man. Oh, uh, you don't want to speak on it? Yeah, no, I don't have does. no opinion on it. I ain't watch it. Oh, uh, okay. I live I live a real life story, man, so I don't need to watch it. It's not like it. Ah, man. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, 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 we had him on the show before. Um, yeah, that's what it is, man. Uh, so uh, the album, man, tell, uh, tell them where they can go cop it. I mean, they can get it anywhere online. Can they get physical copies, too, or in the record store? You could definitely get that joint online. You could definitely get it, physical copies from me. Holla at me direct. Get at me on Instagram, at Edie Don. Holla at me on Facebook. Yeah, hell yeah, her features and stuff like that. You, you doing a, uh, you doing a lot of features these days? Not really, man. You know what I mean? Catch me out here wanting something for free, and I definitely ain't rapping for free. So, yeah. you know what I mean? You gotta have right. your bag right. You, cut, you holler at me. Yeah, yeah, you right. Got I feel you on that shit though. Well, yeah, man. Of course. You know, you got a family, you got bills. You know, people got to eat. You know, nothing wrong with that at all, man. Pay the man. You know what I'm saying? If you get at him, pay the man. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. Stop looking for a discount. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Because motherfuckers, the show will try to eat off you. I'll tell you that right now. A motherfucker try to, you know what I'm saying? They they they, they pick a motherfucker to the motherfucking bones is dry. You know what I'm saying? And you try that to reach part. back. You, you know what I'm saying? Like on some real shit. You know what I'm saying? And these motherfuckers, sometimes it be family members and some more shit sometimes. You just have to let a motherfucker know, like, Come with your right shit. We all going to be straight. You know what I'm saying? I feel that. I never hate yeah, that man. shit. Oh, yeah. That's what it is. Well, I'll tell you what, man. Uh, I'm going to bring out one more caller. Let him uh, ask you a question. It's actually the homie Sin from France. Actually, I got two more if you got time for two. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, two Sin, more. Uh, what you got yeah. for him, Sin? <laughs> Yeah, hi, Scott. Mike, just... Hi, Brendan. Hi, Eddie. Yeah, um, your, your stage names were, were a reference as enemies of the state, like uh, Mussolini, Napoleon, uh, Yazid Gaddafi, and Fatal al What What was the real meaning behind it? Is it, is it uh, political or it was in a provocative way? It's both. It's both, you know what I mean? We chose those names because, you know, we knew niggas in the hood really wasn't, you know what I'm saying, getting the proper ed- education in school, so they may or may not know about some of the people we're talking about. And if they did know who we was talking about, they probably got some fucked up dis- uh, depiction of them or some incorrect information that was going to lead them to, uh, you know, see it from one perspective. So we wanted to give them another perspective, and we felt like, as young black males in America, we was the enemies of the state. We was already enemies of the United States, and you know what I mean? still true to this day. So that's why we chose different names like that. During that time in the 90s, that's where, you know, that was the move right there, flipping your name to something else, and giving yourself a new identity or a new, a new vibe. And, you know, we wanted to come at the game with a new vibe as soon as the homie got out of jail. Yeah. Uh, uh, so... Tell us the the group uh, drama side all of recent fact and uh, Yazid Gaddafi who started it all. In fact, uh, when when Tupac was in jail, uh, they were the only ones to go see Pac when he was in jail. And there's a way you, uh, drama side all created after outlaws so Tell us about this ta- tell us about uh, his time. I don't understand your question. You're making a question you're about drama silo. What would what, you say, Shane, about drama silo? Uh, yeah, yeah, about drama. Of, it's a, 
you send Fala and uh, Yazekala for written this or uh, they they started always to pack when when they 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 go see him in, in when they, when Tupac was in jail there was a there was a, the the only who see him in jail uh, uh, they did they did him uh, and that and that's what after they they uh, <coughs> they made a well, group they got out of jail they changed the name from Drum Style to Outlaws is that what you mean okay. yeah yeah okay. Yeah, I guess he wanted to know why you guys went from Drama Sidle to Outlaws. I mean, Drama Sidle was me, Castro, Napoleon, and you know what I mean? And and the Outlaws became the Outlaws with Gaddafi and Fatal and, and, and Young Noble. So it was two different groups, you know what I mean? We combined groups together and made the Outlaws. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. And you, and you guys went from from drama side you know what I'm saying to outlaws and you formed this 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 big you know what I'm saying almost almost like a a, a Wu Tang you know what I'm saying type group three six mafia type group and uh, you just blew up from there man did you ever think it would get that big? I mean it was always the plan. Yeah. Mhm. So I mean if you plan for yeah, something, yeah. definitely thinking it's going to do what you plan. Right and. And it, and it was like everything was uh, playing out a certain way with us being fans and growing up uh, watching it. Like, shit, he, he, even the Hit em Up uh, uh, song, that's one of the coldest diss, diss tracks ever. You got all these cats now trying to diss and, and do their shit, but y'all shit still standing the test of time, too, man. Y'all y'all rock that shit, man. All that's the funny. shit y'all was on, man, if motherfuckers was fucking with y'all music, they got to still be fucking with it to this day. Same with, like, groups like Bone Thugs, too. People fuck with them back then. You got to fuck with them now. They still rocking. Shit bumping. Going overseas and still making money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. man. That's what it's all about right there. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to bring on this last caller. Uh, we got uh, area code 769. What's up, 769? Exit on there, homie. What's correct? Hey, what's up, Angelo? Oh, it's all good, man. It's all good. I ain't got much to say, man. I just want to salute you either for what y'all doing, man. I, I love your new joint. Love, hate, beautiful. That's a work of art. Keep up the good work, man. Keep pushing this real shit forward, and I stand behind you. Salute. I appreciate that, fam. Man, that's what's up, man. Thank you, uh, Exit Only. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Homie, uh, Caliber 007, he's listening, you know what I'm saying? He did a, a dope song we're going to play later called Aim at the Police with Young Noble, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hell of a track right there, you know? Uh, shit, I, I guess, uh, man, we, you know, give him your social media and uh, we'll let you get out. You got time for one more question from the caller? Yeah, my social media, E D Don, man, E D I D O N. You can find me anywhere. Okay, okay, that's what it is. Uh, six five one, man. Uh, you got you got nine on the line, man. You got a question for him? Yeah, I got a question for him. Y'all hear me? Yeah, we got you. Hey, yo, Eddie, yeah, man, I've been fuck, I've been fucking with y'all, boy, for a long time, man. My top three album out of my top three is Still I Rise, one of the coldest motherfucking albums in the world. I listen to it right now, damn near every morning. And that joint, that that Secrets of War. I lo- I love it if they play that for us before you leave. You know, that's one of the coldest tracks to me that you ever was on, bro. And I just want to say, man, love to you, Pop, and the rest of the crew, man. And forever, appreciate you know, that, thug man. Life forever, fella. Thug man, life forever, appreciate baby. that. Much love to you, dog. You know it, man. You got much love for you, Eddie. For real, I've been listening to you, man, since man ninety, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, ninety six, all the way up the line, all the way to now, twenty seventeen. Yeah, it don't stop. It don't stop. You a legend. I know him too. You a legend, man. I appreciate Real that, appreciate him, that man. love, homeboy, man. Shout out to the six five one two. You know it. Oh yeah, definitely, man. Thank you for calling in, man. Uh, well, all right, you guys, man. Uh, we look forward to you uh, coming back on the show, man. Thank you for stopping by. Take care of yourself. You know, what I'm saying much success to you guys. You know, what I'm saying, and uh, everybody, go out and top that. Uh, 
The We Need Dying album is out right now. Also, make sure to get the new Outlaws Living Legends. This is Caliber 007, young.